Hi. Nice to see you, RSU71 folks. I'm going to read a book today. It's about an ukulele, or ukulele, as we sometimes say. It's called Footloose the Mongoose and the Jumping Flea by Elaine Masters and illustrated by Jeff Paget. And it's put out or published by a group called Island Heritage. Here's the frontispiece. Here's the title page. You can see it was published in 1998. Footloose the Mongoose and the Jumping Flea by Elaine Masters, illustrated by Jeff Paget. Dedication to the, all the Hawaiian keiki, that's for children, and any mongooses too, who are learning to play the ukulele. Enjoy. That's you guys. Footloose the mongoose lived in a little house with his mother and father in the bushes by the big wide ocean. Every day he scampered up the coconut trees. He splashed in the cool ocean waves and he rolled in the sun warmed grass that grew outside his little house. Sometimes he watched old Mrs. Honu teach the little turtles how to count shells, but mostly he just played. That's why his friends called him Footloose. You really should clean up your room, his mother said when she stuck her head in the door. Hmm. You really should learn some responsibility, his father said when he saw him playing all day. But his friend Shifty understood all about Footloose. He'll learn to work when the time is right, said Shifty, giving Footloose a slap on the back. Then one day, when Footloose was rolling in the sun-warmed grass that grew outside their little house, he found a very strange thing. It was made of wood. It was about as long as he was, counting his tail. And it had four plastic strings stretched tightly all along its body. Hmm said Footloose. I've never seen such a strange looking wooden thing. He picked it up. Gently he pulled on one string. Bling! went the string in a high voice. My! said Footloose. What an awesome noise! Gently he pulled on the next string. Bling! went the string in a lower voice. A little finch sat on a bush nearby. It began to sing. Quickly, Footloose plucked the strings following the bird's song. He played the song, and then the bird sang the song again. Footloose played, the bird sang. It was kind of like a game. And then a red-headed cardinal flew down to the ground beside Footloose. It began a different song. Footloose could imitate its song, too. When Shifty came by, he was impressed. You have a natural talent, Footloose, he said. When you play those songs, it sounds just like the birds singing. I don't know if you can see the illustration, but it's got the music notes floating up from the bird and from Shifty. I mean, from Footloose. <laughs> oh, boy. But when his mother looked at his room, she said, you didn't still didn't clean up your room. And his father asked, well, when are you going to learn some responsibility? Shifty whispered to his friend. Let's go see old Mrs. Hanu. I bet she'll like your music. Down at the beach, the little turtle stopped counting shells and started counting the strings on the strange-looking wooden thing. One, two, three, four. Then they tried to count the notes as Footloose played bird songs for them, but there were too many notes. They couldn't count that high. Such lovely music, said Mrs. Honu. You have a natural talent, Footloose. I've never known anyone who learned to play an ukulele so quickly. Ukulele, said Footloose. Is that what this is? Yes, said Mrs. Honu. Once I heard a person play one of those things. He played many notes at once, and it sounded very beautiful. <laughs> I like old Mrs. Honu. Hmm, said Footloose. I wonder how he did that. I don't know, said Mrs. Honu. But I don't advise getting too close to people to find out. When I burrow down in the sand, they don't see me. But if you get close to them, they'd see your beady eyes and your furry body. Yes, said Footloose, shivering with fear. People are huge. I'm sure they're big trouble. Back in his house, Footloose said to himself, hmm, Mrs. Honu called it an ukulele. She said the people played many notes at the same time. How interesting. He picked up the ukulele and strummed his finger across all the strings. Bang! It sounded awful. The 
There must be more to it than this, he said. I need to watch a person play an ukulele. He crept out of his house just as the sun was going down over the ocean. He scampered along the edge of the bushes. Poor Lewis was afraid of the dark. He wanted to turn around. He wanted to go back home. The mongoose shouldn't be out at night, he said to himself. Everybody knows that. But then he said, I must find out how people make beautiful music. I must. On through the dark night, he scampered past the bushes, out by the ocean. A fire burned in the beach. Sitting and talking around the fire were <gasps> people. Footloose the mongoose stopped still. He flattened himself down in the sand. His beady little eyes darted from one person to another. His muscles tensed in his wiry legs, ready to run away. And then he heard it. It was the same pling clang sound that his own ukulele made. But it was several notes at once and it was beautiful. Where was it coming from? He had to find out. His eyes darted back and forth, and then he saw it. Leaning against a log were a man and a girl, and in the girl's hand was an ukulele. Inch by inch, keeping his body flat against the sand, Footloose crept closer. The man was showing the girl where to put the fingers on the strings. Like this, he said, moving her finger to the next string. Now play. The little girl strummed a finger across all the strings. That's it, the man encouraged her. Good chord. Then he took back the ukulele and began to play. Faster and faster his fingers flew, until they looked just like jumping fleas. Footloose was enchanted. He forgot to be afraid. He crept closer and closer, his eyes focused on the man's flying fingers. The man pressed his left hand fingers down on the strings while his right hand strummed the rhythm. Ah, said Footloose, so that's how they do it. Suddenly, look, a mongoose, a boy shouted. He ran toward Footloose. Footloose froze and then the muscles in his legs went into action. He turned and fled. He dashed back into the bushes. Whoosh, he raced through the shadows. He rushed inside his little house and locked the door. He panted a few moments, leaning against the locked door and fanned himself. And then he pulled out his ukulele. He began to practice. He held down two or three strings with the fingers on his left paw. He strummed with his right paw. Pling! Well, it sounded pretty good. He tried some more chords. He strummed and strummed, and the more he practiced, the better the chords sounded. He practiced all night. His paws grew tired and he got blisters on his fingers. Mm. He worked very hard, but he was having so much fun, it didn't seem like work. In the morning, Shifty came to visit. Wow, what beautiful music, he exclaimed. How'd you learn to do that? I learned it from watching people, said Footloose. What? Shifty exclaimed. Yes, said Footloose. People are big and scary looking, but I had to find out about those chords, and now I've practiced and practiced and... We'll just listen. Pling, plang. Footloose played the most beautiful music Shifty had ever heard. Now, Footloose the Mongoose is much in demand for concerts. He plays for the turtle luau's. He plays for the bird recitals. His father's very proud that his son has learned responsibility. But his mother wishes, still, that he would clean up his room. In case you're wondering. The mongoose was deliberately brought to Hawaii many years ago to get rid of rats. However, a rat is active at night and a mongoose is active in the day, so they seldom meet. True story. The ukulele was brought to Hawaii by the Portuguese before 1900. When Hawaiians saw it, they called it an ukulele, pronouncing the U like the U in mongoose. In the Hawaiian language, the word really means jumping flea. Uku means flee, lele means jump. The player's fingers moved so quickly that it reminded the Hawaiians of jumping fleas. Hawaiians call the mongoose a manakuke, since there's no G in Hawaiian alphabet and there's no S in the Hawaiian alphabet either. Usually a mongoose does not play an ukulele. 
Footloose did indeed have a natural talent. The end. <laughs> Ta-da! So happy that you guys would listen to this story. It's a bit silly, but it has some things that are true about ukuleles. Enjoy the day.